Alright, what is going on guys? Today we are watching Fruit Basket Season 2, Episode 19 and 20. Uh, for, you, for those of you who don't know, I was away last week, so we are watching a double episode of all the anime that I watched this week, and then it'll be back to normal next week. But uh, yeah, the God of, High, my God of High School video is already up, so you kind of get the gist of how that's going to go. This is going to go if you've already seen that. But uh, it'll just have the first episode, and then it'll I'll see my review, and it'll just run straight into the second episode. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's go into the episode right now. Oh, I don't know if the subtitle's on. Whoopsie. There we go. <laughs> oh. My god, it's been two weeks since we watched Fruit Basket. And we left on such a crazy episode. Oh my god. That episode, I mean, it made me furious. Um... Most heartbreaking, but oh my god. Oh man. I hope Terry is able to help Rin in some way or form. It's just heartbreaking finding out about Rin's past and what happened to her and whatnot. It's just, oh, it's still, I hate. I hate, I got. Oh, sorry, I'm um, a bit lost on everybody's names again because it's been two weeks. <laughs> For some reason, like, there's so many people's names and all the characters in this are relevant. Um, and it's just hard to remember everybody's names sometimes. I don't know. My bad for not knowing uh, all the Japanese names. <laughs> I'm trying my best every week. I'm like, right, I can remember everybody's names, and these are the, these are the characters' names I need to remember and stuff. And then I take a basically two week break from the anime, and ugh, this happens. But I'll get back into it. Don't worry, it's fine. <laughs> oh. Ugh, what a horrible, horrible past she has. Uh, no. Yeah. Well, she is very. <laughs> Don't even joke about that. Hmm. 
is is there something somebody is some keeping them to themselves here? I hear it. I hear the sound of breaking. Keep it coming. I don't mind. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, she is pretty normal, but she's just quite extraordinary in how she is with people. She is kind. Haru is kind. Haru is a great guy. Yeah. I kind of agree. Hmm. Oh. So it was just so overwhelmingly caring for other people, man. How does she have the energy for her? I don't know. She's just so kind. Rin, stop, stop trying to scare her away. This isn't going to work. <laughs> oh. 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 Just such like a motherly warmth around her. That's why everybody feels so calm around her. Yeah. Yeah, literally. <laughs> oh. Yeah, but Haru and Teru don't mind. Oh. <laughs> Oh. 
not even halfway through the episode, man, and we've got two episodes to watch. I'm done. I, it's, this fruit basket is going to ruin me today. Oh, this OST is amazing. Oh. <laughs> Terror is amazing, man. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Kill. <laughs> I knew it. I knew they were going to be pissed. No. <laughs> You're mute. <laughs> he is, takes the best. I love it. He's so funny. <laughs> oh, shooting council hilarious. No. Oh. <laughs> it is so funny. He's so funny. Oh my god. Can't me to make your daughter happy. <laughs> oh. I mean, is he wrong? No, no, he's not. Oh, I'm so upset I missed this episode last week. Oh, my God. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the electricity bill. Oh my god, this episode's so funny. <laughs> this is a uh, fuck around with fucking Yuki episode. I love it. Where did all the juices go? He looks like he's got ears because of the door handles. <laughs> you okay, Yuki?
Huh. <laughs> oh, it's jelly. I thought it was all drinks or something. She's well and truly into the family matters. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh. Jello. Oh. Yeah. Hair and Kiara are so alike. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Back on me time. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> she completely forgot about the car. She just wanted to come check up in your own. Ugh. King Akita, I hate him. Jeez. Yeah. I get it. No. No, it's not. Yeah. I wonder who does now. Oh. Oh. Poor now. No. <laughs>
Hm? Sí. Yeah, why? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Unlimited jelly for Rin. She deserves it. Someone knows how scary it is to be alone. Can't help but love others. That's just Toru. It's Toru. Oh. I hope at the end of this series when... If Toru is able to help everyone and everyone becomes happy, there's just a moment where Toru just is kind of happy and then everyone just hugs her or something and she just lets out all of her emotions that she's been keeping inside as well. She's done so much for them and like, I was going to say it through the episode but we kind of just got into the next scene but... Toru's like trauma has made it so that she's so ridiculously kind and attentive to other people and it, she was probably already like that anyway before she, you know she'd even lost her mom but like she just cares for other people so so much she's like a saint she genuinely is and uh, I don't know it's just she deserves the happiness that she's trying to give to other people as well And I think everybody else is helping with that. It's just everyone that he, all the other main characters in the story, you know, have their own problems too. So once all of their problems are have gone away, hopefully, end goal, hopefully, I think Toru might need a bit of saving as well. I hope. But just seeing them happy might make just make make her happy. I don't know. But uh, yeah, really good episode. Not just from the emotional parts, but just like from the second half of the episode as well, when it was just a bit of comedy. There's really, it's just such a nice blend in the show of comedy and sadness and uh, happiness and anger, a uh, little bit of anger at times as well, like in the last episode. I love this show. I really do. It's one of the best. <clears throat> but um, yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. And now we're going to go straight on to episode 20. What is going on, guys? We are now on episode 20 of Fruit Baskets. We're just on episode 19. So I don't have anything to say before the start of the episode. Without further ado, let's get into the episode right now.
Uh, I swear, the, the past two episodes of Fruit Basket have been bangers. Most episodes of Fruit Basket are bangers in some way, shape, or form. Um, I don't really, can't really remember if there was ever a boring episode of the show, but uh, man, we are in episode 20 now. We've got what, four episodes left of this 21, 22, 23, 24. Uh, assuming that there is 24 episodes, let me just check Fruit Basket into. Uh, this is the kind of thing that I should do before or after the episode, but, uh, uh, it doesn't, doesn't say, doesn't say whether, how many episodes it's going to be. That's fine. Um, but yeah, wow. I wonder what's going to come of this episode, what revelations are going to come of it. I hope it doesn't get any worse from here, in terms of the situations that they're in. But it can be all, it can all be resolved, I'm just... I don't know if my heart's ready for more emotional moments. <laughs> but again, I say that every week and more of them come. Just uh, kick me while I'm down every single week. <laughs> but it's fine. That's why I love the show. It's a little bit of pain, you know? You can have a little bit of pain. It's fine. I'm really looking forward to it, though. Oh, right, okay. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I wonder who Cinderella's going to be. Going to be her because she's blonde. Well, the prince has to be Yuki, surely. And if the prince is Yuki, then... Oh. Okay. Then who's who? Interesting. For the... I was going to say, if Yuki is the prince, then I assume Toru would probably be the princess. Or um, Cinderella, sorry. But then I guess, who's going to be who? Hmm, interesting. Is it useful? Yes. What? Um, don't get into it. <laughs> Huh? Huh? <laughs> 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 Who is it? Uh, what's going on here? Are you alright? What's going on? Is she alright? No.
Maybe she can't help it, bro. <laughs> ah, do, eh. <laughs> No. Ah. <laughs> Dude, you gotta relax, man. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Oh, I thought you knew. Oh, so he just goes with the flow and just helps her regardless of knowing. Mm. Huh? Huh? Hey. How did nobody get this? Do they not have the same second names or something? What? Oh, I guess they don't. Hmm. Ah. Oh. Ah, sticky situation. Oh, I hope they're still on good terms with each other. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Aww. Okay. Oh. Damn right. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah.
Yeah. I've got to find somewhere to live with it. Well, kind of. Depends on the situation. <laughs> All of these two, good bros. That's kind of good, good advice sometimes. Yep. Yeah. Oh. His father, have we met his father? Okay, cool, he's getting a cell phone, finally. Don't know what that means, but yeah, that was kind of parent-like, wasn't it? Oh, <sighs> mm -hmm. don't know what you're talking about. So, oh, so. <laughs> Uh, I was told we were not allowed to do this. Who's made these rumors go on? Who's made these rumors go on? <laughs> That's probably Mr. Vice Pres. <laughs> I know it. I know it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It was you. It was you, punk. <laughs> I knew it. How did he not know it? I knew it. Hmm. Oh, come on, dude. Hmm. <laughs> huh? Oh. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, he's really not doing it. Okay. Well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is it, is it going to be Kyo? Oh. Eh? <laughs> yes, this is perfect. <laughs> this is perfect. He absolutely will. He's going to take the piss. It's going to be so funny. <laughs> He's going to be so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I really thought that Blondie was going to be the Cinderella. But this is going to be an interesting Cinderella, okay. This is such a funny main cast, wow. Who picked Toru for evil stepsister? Who thought this was a good idea? Toru is such the early story Cinderella role, I don't understand. What? What? I I don't know how Tori is going to be the evil stepsister. <laughs> I mean, you suit the evil stepmother. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what's what's uh? What's What's Yuki playing then? Who's Yuki playing? Did did he say? I forgot. He's like what? A, <gasps> what if he plays like one of the free blind mice or something? Oh my! Oh, the one of the they're not free blind mice. Just one of the mice. I'm am I thinking of Shrek? I don't know. That'd be so funny. <laughs> like wow, this what a great my mouse costume you got. You're like ten centimeters tall. That's crazy. <laughs> Hmm, I can't wait to see Kyo as a prince. Uh. And the dark Cinderella. That's going to be interesting. Hmm. Why? <laughs> oh my god. You kick it at the wreck that door. You need to kick this straight through. Hmm, <laughs> what's he gonna find in here, I guess? Oh. What's he done? Oh. Yeah, good question. Hmm. Oh, they just broke the door anyway. Why not?
Why was the paint open? Oh, I got on your jumper. What are you doing, Yuki? It's an interesting way to open a door, like. Oh. <laughs> I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, he was, wasn't he? God's sake, man. God, I love this outro so much. It's such a banger. And the art is so pretty. That was a nice little episode. Nice little student council involvement episode, mostly. Uh, all, all together, I think. I love seeing the uh, the duo, like, student council president and vice president, like, whole thing of... Uh, between Yuki and Kanabe. Uh, Manabe, sorry. Or Kakaru, you yeah. know. Um... It's just it's such an interesting duo, and now we know that Kakaru is going through his own kind of stuff as well. We knew that from like his, you know, a few episodes ago. Um, but it's nice to see someone who Yuki can just spend time with and have a bro with, talk to, stuff about, have someone there who kind of distracts him from life, I suppose. Um, but you know, someone different, just new friends and stuff like that, really. Um, it's interesting to see more about the student council, more about Machi and about her, her being a step-sibling of Kakaru. Um, uh, yeah, there's not much else to say about the episode, I think. Um, excited to see what's going to happen in the next episode. And uh, now we're near into the end and we know where it's going to end with like a kind of a play. Uh, that's the kind of thing that's been done before, but it's, I'm going to be interested to see regardless. Because, you know, it's fruit baskets. Gotta love it. I really love the uh, the roles, choices for the main roles and whatnot. I really do not see how Toru is going to play the, uh, the evil stepsister either. But, um, hey-ho. That's that. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.